If I have a, a computer that's as intelligent, just as, or 99.9% .9 as intelligent as the most intelligent person on, on Earth, um, at, and then I guess as every human on Earth, so 99%, I'm not quite more, I'm just as, okay? So I can, I can, uh, uh, I can do the doctor's job as best as, as the best doctor on earth. I can do, you know, the teacher's job as I hey, just go down the line. What do we get out of having it 10% better than that? Um, 10% better than, so it's going 99% Super intelligence, super intelligence where we're better. Now we're better than all of human intelligence as opposed to just equal to all of human intelligence. What I, some people say, you don't know that that becomes the singularity where basically we will be on human. But I say that it is predictable that what you get is that um, the high value questions get, get answered. Things that were not answered before, but have high value become answered. So it's not like write me a version of Harry Potter or something like that, you know, that, that, you know, taking whatever and then making another version of that. No, it is uh, like make a better version of um, a SpaceX Raptor rocket. Tell me how to improve the rocket, make it 20% more efficient and that kind of stuff. Make my batteries um, go from, you know, 500 watt hours to 2,000 watt One, some of those capabilities are there, but, you know, having a more optimized path to that so that the technological progress goes goes faster, right? Also, there's things like um, make a better uh, fertilizer um, or, or, or there's a chemical process, cable process involved in making fertilizer, something like that, that you can make better, right? So there's things that can be done on the more complex scale, big questions that are more valuable, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's not about, so it's, it's both knowing what questions are valuable and where to get the value out of it. Like not just, um, um, competing in chess because you have a better chess computer, but there's no monetization there. Right. right. Other than, you know, like whatever chess.com or something like that. So it's, so you have to look at where is the multi-trillion dollar thing. And that is with, um, real world AI, mm -hmm. which is robot taxi and, uh, Tesla bot, humanoid bots. He is a proven guy and right. he you know, has been at the heart of many of the advances that we've had with AI. And he's saying we're going to get to super intelligence. All the people who say, I don't believe that we're going to get to super intelligence. I don't believe that that the AI is going to keep progressing. Although you say, oh, well, he uh, has incentives to to say this, can get $10 million to do it. He's already super rich, right? He doesn't need to lie. Right. And he's saying that he can make this thing into super intelligence. So then right now, everyone, all the major players, about, you know, six or seven, maybe up to 10, will have GPT-4 level capability. It took about a year to two years to catch up on that. So then anyone that gets to super intelligence, you know, the equivalent of GPT-10 or something like that, that everyone will be able to do that. It's just a question of the order in which it happens, but then the order will matter because the first will get the lion's share of everything, right? If you're behind, then it becomes like um, China with um, Baidu's search engine versus Google, where they can say, I still control this country. And so I'm saying they're keeping you out so that I can still have me as the local winner, right? right? So there's still the geopolitics around that.